Hey guys, what's up, Pulev here, and welcome back to CMPC Tutorials. Today, guys, I'm going to be doing another very simple tutorial on how to get your NPC to walk around. And all you need to do is first create your NPC, and then you're going to want to go right here to Movement, and you're going to want to set him on Moving Path. Now, you can change the animation and everything. If you guys don't know how to do that, check out CNPC tutorial number 4, where I go through all the movement types. But right here on moving path, then we go to animation, and you can set that up. And for movement, you can have him looping or backtracking. If you have him on looping, he'll basically go in a circle on how you set him up. And if you have him on backtracking, he'll just go back and forth in a straight line. I'll show off both of them and show the differences between them in a second. Uh, pauses right here, yes or no, yes it means on every point you set for him he will stop, no means that no he will not stop on every point and it will just constantly be going through his daily routine, stop to interact, yes or no, if you have him to yes, that means that he'll stop moving in order to talk to you, no means no he will not stop and he'll just continue going and walk speed sets how fast he'll actually be moving. So I know that was a lot to digest, he didn't really get any visual aids on that. That. But don't worry guys, I'm about to show you what I mean by all that. So if we exit out of here, and we just take our NPC pather here, and click on Ross, now he is registered. So, we just need to click where we want him to walk, so let's say we want him to walk here, and then we want him to walk up here maybe, and then over here, and now as you can see, he'll start moving along his path. And uh, it's not that good just because we didn't set up a logical path for him. But um, if we go into him now, as you can see, right now he's on the backtracking mode. So he'll go all the way right here, turn around, and go through his entire path. Come to right about here, I believe, is where I set him up. Yep, he stops right there, turns around, and will go back up to the tree, back up here, back down there. So now if we freeze him really quick, and we go into edit him... We go to his AI movement once again, and we set him on looping instead. As you will be able to see when we unfreeze him here, he will actually go in a circular motion. So he'll go there, he'll go down here, and then he'll immediately go back to this point and go in a circle instead of going here, then going back to the tree and backtracking. So those are the two different types of movements you can give your NPCs. Now if we go back into Ross and we change some of the things, if we have pausing yes, that means that every one of the points that we made for him now, as you see, he'll stop right here, he'll look around, he'll do whatever, and it's completely random when he'll actually move on. And it normally takes anywhere, from my experience, about one second to maybe ten seconds. I don't honestly know how it works, guys, but I do know that it does, and it works on random interval. And so now, all we have left to cover in him is obviously his walking speed. Uh, right here, with walking speed, let's change it to ten, which is the max. And then let's make him have no pauses. And for the animation, let's make him look really weird. So let's have him dancing while he's going through his entire movements. So now he's like moving super fast. And he looks really weird. And uh, the server can't even keep up with him. That's how fast he's moving. He's just like jittering around the place looking like he has some sort of problem with him. But that's pretty much how to make your NPC move in Minecraft. I hope this actually was helpful for you guys. If so, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps me, guys. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. If you guys have any more things you want to learn about custom NPCs, let me know in the comments below. And I'll try to cover as much as I can, guys. And I will see you guys next time. Buh. Bye.